Sonar stands for Sound Navigation and Ranging. And the idea is to use sound in this echolocating kind of way in order to figure out if there's an object there and where you are. The radio version of this is radar, uh, where you do the same kind of thing but radio waves. And if I understand um, Lucius Fox's technology accurately, the cell phones are emitting high-frequency radio waves, not high-frequency acoustic waves. So there are a number of challenges to realizing this uh, cell phone imaging system that is depicted in the film. The first is hacking into every cell phone that's out there so that you can take control over it and tell it what signals to send. The second is ensuring that they have the right let's say megaphones on them, they have the right hardware to send these kinds of signals. The third is having the computational power to harness all of these signals and do the signal processing that you need to create this enormous high resolution multi-dimensional image. And then for me I think the most complicated thing is knowing exactly where every cell phone is in space. So you have to know the exact distance between all the cell phones, heights, everything, their exact locations. Um, I don't think we can do it now. <laughs> Uh, but I think that's the beauty of, of having good sort of science fiction engineering and movies is that you take things that are plausible and then you just push them up a notch. I actually do research in wireless communications, but one of the unwired media that I look at a lot right now is water. And so my research group is actively investigating the design of systems for underwater acoustic communication and sensing. There are a number of very interesting applications of the kind of work that we're doing. The origins of this work were certainly military in terms of surveillance and monitoring, but there are also a number of very interesting um, new applications that have come up. Tsunami detection in the wake of uh, the recent tsunamis that we had in Indonesia. Uh, aquaculture monitoring as we increase the number of farms that we have for creating food sources. Um, oil rig integrity, again going back to accidents that we've had and monitoring. You can see that there are a lot of reasons why we would want to be able to send signals underwater.